Hi everyone, how are we all? Um, hope you're okay. Let me just look at my tablet, get it all ready. Hi everybody. Um, oh, just bear with, having a few technical problems. So, just bear with me. Um, right, okay. Are we on? No, not quite on. I think we are on, maybe. I shall wait a second or two. I shall wait a second or two. Just for everyone to join me. There we go. Right. Cool. I shall hold on a second. Just just to get a few more people in. Um, yep, I hope you can all hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm sure you can. Oh dear. It's all cloudy here. Oh yeah, it's dull and cold here, Yvonne, as well. It is. Hi everybody else. Hi Zavuta. Hi Gina. Hi Ink Fingers. Hello, hello. For some reason my chat isn't coming up on my tablet. So there we go. Now it is. Cool. Yeah, so I don't know if Annabella Samuels is on here. I'm just going to hold on a little bit and see if she comes. Warm and sunny in Billericay. Well, you're very lucky because that's warm and sunny here. It's overcast. There's a tiny bit of blue sky and it's a bit chilly. Um, cold and wet in Brisbane. Mm. Yes, sounds like British weather that does. Um, <coughs> how's it in Maine? So, um, oh, sunny in Scotland. Lucky you. Nice. Uh, hello, Irish fan in the house. Wonderful. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it's um, Annabella Samuel's birthday today. She, I'm hoping she's going to be on. She's going to be watching. If not, she'll probably be watching back, which is fine. It's her birthday today. And she actually asked me to do this card. She'd seen one like this. Now, it's not exactly the same as this, but it's kind of similar. Um, so I've had a bit of a tweak. You know the way I do. I've had a bit of a tweak. And um, this is what I have come up with. So this measures basically from tip to tip and top to bottom. It's six by six. So it will fit in a um, an envelope for a six by six card. So it doesn't look like a six by six, but it is because of the tips. But I had somebody um, this morning or yesterday asking about doing a six by four card. So what you could do is you could tweak this and make it so that it's um, four inches wide. Just change the measurement slightly. Make it so it's four inches wide. Keep the six and then, you know, just don't have your tree poking out the side. Um, Hi everybody, Valerie and Yvonne are both from Dublin, fantastic. Oh, sunny and hot Gina, nice, lucky you, it's not sunny and hot here, I wish it was sunny and hot here, <laughs> it's very overcloud. I keep thinking it's going to uh, rain any minute. Yes, don't forget to thumbs up, there's Annabelle, yes, good, happy birthday to you, you are listening, fantastic. Well, I'm doing your card as well, okay, so this is, this is for you Annabelle, this is for you. Um, right, let me sit myself down. Um, right, what was I going to say? Yes, so I have my little, I've got my little notepad here of things I need to remember to mention. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on all my other videos was, um, don't forget, I've got that Google Photos shared folder. So if you want to upload any of your makes onto there, please do. I will try and remember to put the link in the description, um, below afterwards when YouTube lets me do it because it, it processes for ages after a live it always takes ages for it to process so once it's processed and I can add you know um the description in and the rest of it I will add that in um you missed some Judith that's fine because we haven't even started so don't worry this is the um this is this is what we're going to be making today this is my little demo card my sample card um yeah so don't forget the Google Photos folder is ready mm -hmm. um for anybody who wants to upload makes that you've done from, you know, things that I've done or whatever, and you want to share them on the group um, and you can comment on other people's cards. Obviously, keep it nice, which you guys do, but just throwing that out there anyway. Um, also, while I'm on as well, obviously, you know, you guys know about Antonio Makes. He's asked me to mention to you guys about the VIP package that he does. 
So he does a VIP package. So I don't know if you, let me just get the papers quickly. Just quick bit at the beginning, just get it out of the way. So this is my Antonio Makes folder. And you guys know about using Louise 10 to 10 percent off all your orders. That's also applicable for the VIP package as well. So this is some of the stuff, the papers. You've seen them on cards that I've done recently. They're really beautiful. Um, so basically what he does is he does a VIP package that is £45 for the year, just for like for the whole year. And the subscription starts in the month that you first make your payment. You make your first payment and you get an exclusive kit every month that you can't get on the website. Um, and it's designed only for VIPs. And because um, of my 10%, my Louise 10 code, you get to get it for £40.50 instead of £45. Um, and you also get a 20% off code that you can use on all of his kits across his website for one year. And you also get a nominated special promotion every month. I'll put all the details below in the description afterwards so you know. I'm going to do a video on it at some point. Um, he's actually sending me the um, the kit, the uh, well, June's, I think June and July he's sending me, so that I can show you guys in a special video just about that. But I just thought I'd mention it on here just in case you maybe already bought one of his you know, kits, you really like his stuff, I know I do and you thought maybe you might go for a VIP. So I thought I would just mention it. Right, let me put that away and then we will crack on with our Christmas. We will crack on. Oh, put that away over there. Right, okie dokie. So today we're doing this one, which I have just called a Christmas tree gatefold card. And it's a bit like, um, there was one that Mixed Up Crafts did. Um, it was like a gatefold and then she had them all kind of like, like a stepper kind of going up I don't know what it was called but um it was really nice uh and so I thought oh we'll have a go at this one and Annabelle sent me a picture of a Christmas card a Christmas tree one that was literally as the same as this except for they didn't have the point at the top um and they didn't have the bit at the bottom so I've kind of rejigged it I was meaning to mat and layer these strips like the original photo however I ran out of brain cells yesterday when I was trying to sort out the measurements. So today we are going to attempt to mat and layer all of our strips. So you do actually see more of the strips um, to kind of highlight that. So yeah, good luck with that because I'm really tired. So we'll have to see how we go. Okay, so for this card, just so you know, in case you want to know what these papers are, these papers that I have used it's an old Trimcraft pad, first edition, called Believe in Magic. I love this pad. I really want to get another one. This one's pretty cut up, as you know. Uh, a bit shabby, but yeah, there it is. Oh, signing for Worship Ministries. Good to see you. Just so you know, I have a video that is scheduled that is my kind of a craft room tour. And I mention in there about what I do for storage for scraps of paper, um dies everything basically so just so you know i have done that video that you requested and it is scheduled so there you go right so anyway back to this again uh, so yeah so the believe in magic pad oh hello sparkly lady um believe in magic pad absolutely love it so that's what i've used for this card i really love the colors on this i think it's really beautiful so that's what i've used and then for today's card i'm using another trim craft pad and it's this one the winter rose pad and this was from oh 2019 20 yeah i think it was 2019 2018 or 2019 i think it was let's have a look yeah 2019 so hi louise one of my craft ladies whoop, whoop. um yeah so that's a beautiful pad love that pad again i don't know if you can still get it online you possibly can i don't know right i know it is nice that winter rose okay so that's what it looks like anyway for those of you just joined this fits into an envelope for a six by six card. Right, so what you're gonna to need to start with is a piece of base card that's six by 12. Now, um, I have gone for, you know, double-sided card, because I think that's what you, is best, because you're gonna see both sides of it. Um, what I was gonna say, I'm not sure what GSM this is. It feels like a, mm, probably a 200, I would say. So you don't want to go too thick. What I used on this one was about a 240. 
uh, maybe a 300, 240 or 300 on this one. Okay, so just to give you an idea of weights. I'm not sure how the 200 is going to fare. We'll have to find out. Right, so on your scoreboard, you want to score along the long edge and you're going to score at one inch at three and a half inches. <coughs> Losing my voice. At eight and a half inches and at 11 inches. Okay, so that's that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to just turn this over and I'm going to fold in so the two um, the two score lines sort of in the middle you're going to fold in like this I'm just going to sort of a bit like a trifold card in a way I'm going to turn this around because I always like to score from the right being right handed okay and then all we're going to do is we are going to pop these bits the one inch fold lines I'm just going to pop them back on themselves like this Yes, I know what he means, Cynthia. I could almost open my own shop as well, I have to say. Right, and so this is kind of like a it's kind of like a gatefold, but it kind of meets in the middle. So we're just gonna oh, fold this down. So you basically end up with that. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that is how your fold is. Okay, and so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put down the the mats and the layers that go here and here and also in the middle here now if you want to you can write inside so if you want to put a plain piece inside you can but i was going to write on the back of mine i think that's what i'm going to do on this because i like the fact that when it's open you can sort of see inside you could even have um uh, some kind of topper in the middle there but i quite like the pattern paper i don't really want to be able to see my horrible writing on the inside so i think i would write on the outside so what we're going to need is we are going to need a mat piece. So this is going on the inside here. Um, and it's a mat piece that is, she says trying to find her measurements, four and three quarter by five and three quarter. And the pattern is four and a half by five and a half. Okay, so that's that piece there. And then, uh, right, we'll go ahead and stick that down first because I normally stick it down and speed it up, but obviously, I'm not doing that because this is a live stream. So, yes. Right, let's just peel these back. Well, I've just managed to buy a laser printer so I can print off all them fabulous papers from Antonio Makes. So it's still sat in its box because it came this morning. And I'm hoping to set it up. But I need to clear an area um, where it can go because I've already got an inkjet. So I need to find an area for it to go, sort it all out, read all the instructions, work out what I'm doing with it. And then I'll be able to print off more lovely stuff from Antonio May because I can't wait. Right, so then you need two more pieces. Now, if you want to, you can do um, panels here as well. It's really up to you. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave that one in the middle. I'm just going to do this side here. Otherwise, you end up with it maybe getting a bit too bulky. So on these two bits on the front, you need two mats that are two and a quarter by five and three quarter and two patterns that are two inches by five and a half. And these are gonna go um, on here. Oh, so Gemma, yes, it was your one. Okay, I didn't know whose it was. So yes, Gemma, it was your card. So this is your, this is your card we're doing today, Gemma. We're doing a version of your card. So I've changed it, I loved it. I really liked what, what you'd done. Um, I wasn't sure who did it, you see. I was like, <laughs> I would give credit if I knew. But yeah, it was yours. Fantastic. Um, yes, Rita, you're going to have to get the Christmas stuff out. Definitely. Um, definitely, definitely. I was always used to be a bit dubious about doing Christmas in July. But actually, if you've got quite a lot of cards to make, it's actually quite a good idea because, you know, uh, it's just a good idea to get cracking. If you do, if you try and do, I remember I used to before like demoing stuff, I used to do one Christmas card a week. And then that way, by the time I got to Christmas, I'd have 52, 52 cards or thereabouts. And um, some weeks, if I was feeling like, oh, I can get more than one done, then I'd maybe do a couple more. But it's quite a good way, because then when you get to Christmas, you haven't got to be like, oh, I've got to make 60 cards and I've got or 50 cards or whatever. And I can't, you know, I haven't got time now. So it does work quite nicely. Okay, so that's your, 
um, inside and your two flappy bits done on the outside there. So then we need to sort out our Christmas tree. Now, as I said before, we're going to attempt to um, do a matte and layered one like you did, Gemma. I'm not sure, um, Gemma, I'm not sure on yours how you worked out your patterns to go on your mats. You did a very good job. However you did it, you did a very good job. Um, I struggled. So with my first one that I did yesterday, I was tired. I'd had that six hours sleep. So I just did it with pattern paper. I didn't bother matting it. Um, but today I'm going to attempt to mat it. So we will have to see. Um, so I just seen Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia. Sorry about that. Goodness, I've just seen your comment. Oh, dearie me. Um, yeah, so sorry to hear that, Cynthia. I really am. I'm glad you're able to join us, though. That's good. Um, right, so with the uh, tree, I have got a piece of... Oh, here we go. I've got a piece of mat here. This is a, a Miri. Um, and what I did on the back, I've worked out where I need to be cutting my um, pieces for the for the bottom of the tree. So these two mat pieces are one inch by eight inches. And what I've done is on the top of one, um, I've I've marked. So I've marked at. If I give you all my measurements, and I've done opposites. I don't know if you can see. Oh, right. And if you can see, I've done opposite. So I've done the same measurements and then I've just done the lines go the opposite way. So on A, I measured and marked. Actually, it's that way around. No, it's not. Is it that way around? Oh, hang on a second. Let me just, it's that way around. Dear me, I'm going to get in the muddle now. Right. So I've measured and marked at, um, along the top, I marked at one inch one and a half, three and a half, and five. And then along the bottom, I marked at one inch, two and a half, three and a half, and six. And then what I did was I just drew, joined those lines up, so you end up with this. And then I flipped it round. So the measurements I did at the top, I then did at the bottom on the, on the second strip. And the measurements that I did at the bottom, I then do at the top. So then you means you get these diagonal lines. I hope that makes sense to everybody. Um, Sally, I don't know why you can't see the chat. If you switch what I found on my tablet, I had to turn my chat off. So press the little cross in the corner, switch the chat off, and then go back in and press live chat again. And then hopefully it will come up. Yep, I'll repeat the measurements. So along the top of, um, this should say A actually, strip A, the first strip, along the top, I made a mark at one inch, one and a half, three and a half, and five. Okay, so that's along the top of the strip. And then along the bottom of that same strip, I made a mark at one inch, at two and a half inches, at three and a half inches, and at six. And then what I did with the second strip was I put those bottom measurements along the top and I put the top measurements along the that your diagonal lines go in the opposite direction. And it's very important that they do. Otherwise, you end up with two lots of lines that are, are going the same way and then you haven't got your tree. So I did that to start with. I ended up with two sets of this side of the tree and nothing to put on that side. Hope that makes any sense. I hope it makes sense. I hope it makes sense. If anybody's got any questions, please let me know and I will answer them before I start cutting this up. Okay. Do are we all alright with that? Hopefully we are. Right, I'm gonna start cutting these up now. So before I start cutting them up, I'm gonna put tape on. And I did put tape on yesterday and then realised actually no, I need to not put oh actually no, I don't want to put tape on. No, I don't want to put tape on. Ignore me. Damn me. Um giving them some stuff okay right so let's um cut this now so i'm actually going to i'm actually going to guillotine this um let me move my bits out of the way i'm going to guillotine my straight edges because i don't i don't um think i'm going to do a very good a very good um cutting on my own that's not right english but you know what i mean 
So there's my one inch square. And then let's cut this one here. That's that one there. So that's that. And then let's do the same with this one. Uh, it's all off to the side. There's me one inch. There's my. Now I don't know why I've just done a one inch. I've been a silly billy. I've done it wrong. But anyway, I'm like, ignore me. Right, so that's that. Okay, I'm going to ignore these two one inches because I'd already cut two out here and put um, patterns on them. So that was silly of me to do that, but I did. Um, right, so next what we're going to do is I'm going to then cut across these diagonals. And so this should then hopefully give me the right amount of pieces. But I need to make sure I keep all the same ones next to each other. So that's one side. Oh no, my cat's outside and she wants to come in. Pepsi, I'm in here. I don't know why you're crying at me for, because I did give you food just before I came on so that you wouldn't then interrupt my live stream. Um, okay, so there we go. So that's what you end up with. So I've written A and B, so I know, obviously you can see what they are. Now, with the pattern pieces, what I did was I kind of laid these on and worked it out. The measurements, so, so what I would do with your pattern piece, if you want a mat and layer, your pattern piece, I've got this green from that um, winter rose, your pattern piece cut down to three quarters, well, actually seven eighths. Did I cut seven eighths? I think I went seven eighths. No, I went three quarters. Cut to three quarters tall. And then what I would do is the total piece for one side is about five and three eighths. And so I just went down and laid it on. So like here, for example, I just laid it on and just kind of worked out where my diagonal line was and kind of did it that way. The measurement wise, it's a bit tricky because it's like sixteenths and stuff. Um, so I think on here, the first measurement is like two and one, two, three eighths, or just past two and three eighths, and then at three and five eighths, and then at five and one sixteenth, roughly ish. Um, so you might want to just, you might want to just, um, yeah, just sort of go, go with the flow. This is my halfway line. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fold this in half. So then when I cut these, hopefully it should mean that whether I cut on the other side is the is the mirror image of it and therefore will fit on my tree. That's the plan anyway. So I'm actually going to, let me just cut down here. So I hope that makes sense. It's a bit difficult to explain, but hopefully that makes sense. Right, so I'm just going to put these two together like that. I've put them pattern side to pattern side. And then I'm just going to cut down here and I'm hoping this will work. We will find out. Oh, there we go. So that's that one. Well, that's for that side when we've turned it round. Yep. And then we just need to, you might do well to sort of sticky tape them together somehow. Stop them from moving. Here we go. So that's my next one in. And then last but not least, we have this one. Now you can always sort of trim them and neaten them up. This is very not very exact. exact. Uh, and I'm not sure how it was done originally. Maybe you can let us know, Gemma. But this is how I've done it anyway. <laughs> very untechnical. Right, so there we go. That's an extra piece. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead now and stick my pattern pieces onto my mats. So there's one mirror piece and oh, I meant to put another piece of tape. I meant to tape my pattern piece before I cut it, but I didn't. So that's exciting. So I shall do that now. There we go. Right, so let's stick these pattern pieces down. 
Um, now this border is quite big, so I'd probably want to go for a slightly smaller border than that. That's a very big border. Oh well, we've, that's what we've got, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, yeah, Gemma, I'm not sure how you did your patterns and mats, how you worked it out. Uh, we will hopefully see that it works. Hopefully, hopefully. Right, let's stick these bits down. Oh, big old border. I did try it with seven eighths of an inch tall, but it just ended up being not enough. It wasn't it wasn't a big enough border. So I don't know. I don't know what the middle ground is for it. So I just work out your patterns yourself to be fair. Um or is it nice in Margate? Hmm. Lucky you. Oh, the sun's come out here, sort of. Sort of. It's sort of trying to come out a bit that way. Um. Oh. Right, let's stick this down here. That is a very big border. We'll see what it looks like. You like my chunky border, Rita? Good, I'm glad. I'm not sure. I think once it's together, it'll probably look all right. I think because it's small pieces. You know when you've got a small, um, you've got like a small piece, like when I've done the one, the pillar cards that have got the strips on them, I find like the, you end up with no card at all left. So it is a bit, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit chunky, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. So that's one side. Then let's do the other side. I was trying to take them already so we didn't have to spend ages cutting and sticking. But I ended up last night when I was trying to prep, I actually ended up putting tape on my mats, which I shouldn't have done because you, you're not you don't need to put tape on your mats. It was only my patterns I needed tape on. But as I said, my brains were a little bit fried last night. And also because I was playing midwife to my friend's kittens. I popped around. She's got a cat who is pregnant. And she had one of her kittens yesterday afternoon around three. So I popped around about, I don't know, half six so that to see the kitten that had been born. And while I was looking at said kitten and mother, the mother decided there was another one coming out. So I sat and watched. A kitten being born, which I've never never seen before, and it was a very interesting experience, I have to say. Um, yeah, and then overnight she gave birth to another kitten, so there are now oh no, I've them play. There are now three furry beans, three little furry beans. I was like, oh, so I'm hopefully having one of the beans when they get a bit older. I call them beans because they look like beans. Very cute, very cute, and fluffy. So I just sat and watched at this poor little kitten, bless her. She's only a kitten herself, the mum. She's only oh, about seven months, eight months, like that. She's not very old. So, um, bless her. A canine midwife, oh my goodness, wow. I mean, it's not my job, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. It was a bit of a shock. She was just looking at me like, meow. I was like, because I, I, I've had cats all my life, so I kind of know... Um, I kind of know cat language and what it means. And she was looking at me like, what's going on? What's going on? Can you help me? Can you help me? And I was thinking, I can't help you, love. I'm very sorry. <laughs> You're in this on your own, my dear. Um, but she handled it really well. I just wish that human births were as quick as uh, how quick that cat, that kitten came out. Because, yeah, when I had my son, it wasn't that easy. That's for sure. Um, right, there we go. So... <laughs> oh wow she's a vet tech now down the vet fantastic right so now we need to bring our card back in and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add tape onto these lapel sections here um and we are going to be cutting parts of it out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick some some tape on this inside bit right by the fold and then on this side here, I'm going to put tape, but I'm not going to put it all the way up. I'm going to put it so it finishes about an inch from the bottom, uh, from the top even, because we are going to be sticking, uh, we're going to be cutting some of this lapel out. 
so it doesn't interfere with the tree shape. We've got a little bit more on because that's a little bit further. You cut a series of one inch strips starting with three inches of the largest, that's what mine are, then reduce the next by yes, that's what I've done. So I've done that, Gemma. But how did you with that? I presume that's for your mats. So what did you do with your patterns? Because my mats, I've done that. So this one is um three inches, two and a half, two, one and a half. So I've done that as well, the point, and then gone in, but I didn't know what to do with the patterns. Um once cut, I marked it three quarters from the end, cut from the bottom edge up to the three quarters mark to create the angle. Okay, cool. Well, Gemma, maybe you need to do a little YouTube video to show us what you did on yours. I think I would like to see that. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know if you do videos, but if you do, please, can you do one? Um, oh, and then the other thing we need is, which I haven't done, is the triangular piece at the top, because I did a little triangular piece at the top on mine. So I need to do that. So I have not got any. Oh, I have. I have. Right, good. So I'm going to use one of these pieces of mat that I've got here. And I'm going to tape on the back before I cut it diagonally. So this is just a one inch by one inch uh, mat square. I'm just going to put some tape on the back like that. I'm going to cut it in half diagonally like this so that's that and then i'm gonna oh yes okay i didn't need to put tape on the back i didn't need to put tape on the back of the mat i need to put tape on the back of the pattern i will learn one day i will learn one day right so then on the pattern i am putting tape on the back and then i need to make it three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch square and then we are going to cut it in half diagonally in a minute um let me just get this on here so there like that so then let's uh oh, draw down there like that and i'm gonna just uh yeah the little paws are like beans i have to say little toe beans uh this is very true but i didn't realize that kittens can't actually see or hear until quite a bit you know like a few weeks down the line a week or two weeks i can't remember how many it is three weeks um the pattern you started at two and three quarters and marked in at five eighths and cut the angle oh, okay yeah i just i couldn't work out the measurements last night my brain was like nope sorry you've done enough for one day i'm not going to tell you any more information you can just have to look and see what you can do so that's my little three quarters by three quarters inch square and i've cut it in half diagonally I put um, tape on the back and then this square is a one inch by one inch mat square and I'm just going to go ahead and stick my little three quarters on top of my what would have been my one inch and again I have this feeling the border is going to be huge but anywho that's what we got so let me stick this down here first so this goes on top of it. Oh no, it's not too bad. See, that's the kind of border I was hoping to have with my Christmas trees. But they came out a bit bigger. So that's interesting. Hmm, I wonder why that is then. That's very interesting. So these, I, I went down to three quarters, but I think it's to do with triangles, actually. I think, um, I feel like the, the big ones, these ones, could have done with being... Uh, in between three quarters and seven eighths but I did try seven eighths and it didn't seem to be enough and I tried three quarters and it was too much so yeah there we go I know I'm not good at maths either Cynthia trust me I'm really not especially not when I'm tired my brain does not work properly Right, there we go. So there's my two little triangles. So that's going to be the top of the tree. So I'm just going to quickly put tape on this lapel here as well. So let's just get this one taped up. Ready. Don't need to tape the top, but I'm going to tape part of it. Uh, right from there to there. That should be okay. Right, so now what we're going to do, oh, a bit wonky with the old tape. I'm just going to take this top bit off and then 
I'm going to stick one of these little triangles like that on that middle bit there. Now I went and put tape on the back of here, which I didn't need to do. So I'm going to take the backing off, otherwise it's not going to stick. Right, so now we're going to put this on so that this edge here lines up with that folded edge there. Okay, so need to take this off as well. Like that. Okay, so you can see, I can still see this lapel, but we're going to cut that off in a bit, so don't worry about this bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work down the right-hand side, and then I'm going to do the left-hand side. So I'm going to peel a little bit of the tape back, take my next one down, and then that's going to go in here, up against that creased edge. And again, you can see lapel there, but don't worry, because we're going to cut that bit out. So then we're going to pull it down a bit further, get the next one, and that is going to go there, like that. And we're just going to keep on going down. Now, for some reason, I've actually got a little bit of lapel showing in between the second and third. And I didn't have that problem on the other one. So I've obviously done something not quite right, or this is bigger than an inch. I'm not quite sure what I've done there, but I've done something not quite right. Um, oh, Uruguay. Wow. Hi, Maria. Goodness me, we are we're really going around the world, aren't we? I love the fact, I love this is what I love about YouTube, is <laughs> we get people from everywhere. Right, so then we're going to get the next one in, and that's going to go there, and I'm going to try not to overlap. And then the next one down, which is this one, and that's going to go there. And so that's, you can see the Christmas tree coming, coming, you know, coming about. And then what I've done is for the bottom, for the, the, um, like the plant pot, I cut two one by one inch squares and then I also cut out um, some pattern paper, this red pattern paper, um, but I made it, I made, I cut a piece that was three quarters by, what was it, three quarters by, let me just measure it, um, three quarters by one and seven eighths, yeah, and then cut it in half. And just stuck one on one side one on the other side so it joins in the middle if i did it again i would actually do it so my border only goes round the side and the bottom i think i don't know it might not look right but anyway so that's what i've done for now so that's going to go on here and i'm going to put that piece in there like that right my lapel is definitely bigger than an inch because this is an inch by inch and that i can see the lapel there but it's fine. I'm just going to go in with the pair of scissors. Yes, Rita, I am on top, which is a bit crazy because I'm just little old me. But anyway, <laughs> it's a bit mad. Um, right, let's just trim this bit here. Oh, there we go. And then I'm just going to go in and anywhere I can see lapel, I'm just going to trim it. Now, as I said, I didn't have this problem before with having this lapel. If you don't have 12 by 12 paper, you can't get 6 by 12. And you've only got, um, yeah, Shannon, you could go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, if you want to, you can. So for the next one, um, the only thing is you're going to need to change your measurements so that your six, the one that's three inches wide goes at the bottom. And then at the top, you'll have to figure something out um, or make your card slightly shorter um, or make the differences between them slightly less. Any of those options would work. Um, what was I saying? don't know. My brain's gone. So yeah, so that's one side. It's got a bit of glueiness there, which I don't like the look of. There we go, that's one side. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Let me just move these bits out of the way, because otherwise I can't get my card in the right place. Okay, there we go. Right, so let's peel this down. And then we're going to stick the little triangle on the top. Yes, now I was saying about if you can't get a 12 or 12 and you've only got the paper that is 11 inches long, then what you can do is you can keep it, instead of doing 6 by 12, you could do 6 by 11 for your base card. And then if you just um, make your lapel slightly shorter, then that should work because it just means you'll have a half inch lapel rather than an inch, I think. I think that works. Um, Either that or you can just make your this bit slightly less 
Um, right, bear with while I try and take... Oh, my goodness, let me get my thingy bob in for this. Hot and humid Alabama, that sounds nice. I mean, the humid doesn't, but the hot sounds good. Um, it's not. It's wallish here, but it's not that hot. Right, so now we're going to go down the other side. If you want to, you can bring your other side in just so you can sort of see what you're doing. Yeah, I like the gold mirror card. I have to say, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not because I did like the other one, but I kind of felt like I wanted to be able to see the difference between the strips because that's what Gemma had done on her card originally and I, that's what I liked about it. You could see that it was different. So let me stick that in there like that. Tracy, whereabouts are you? Um... You said it's freezing here. Is it you in the UK? <laughs> if you are, that doesn't surprise me. Or are you somewhere cold? Like a cold country. Um, right, let me take this one off. And then we're going to stick this one down. Like that. And then I'm going to stick this down at the bottom. There we go. Okay, so there's your tree. So let's just trim off these extra bits. Oh, Australia. Is it cold in Australia? Oh, okay, cool. All right, all right. I suppose it's coming up to your... Oh, it's winter, isn't it? You have the opposite to us. It's our summer, it's your winter. Yeah. Um. Right, let's just trim. Oh, 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 oh. A bit cat-handed today to bear with. Oh, there we go. Right. So there we go. Yes, I hate spell check too. Right, there we go. So that's that. Let me just. There we go. Get rid of all my bits and bobs. So that's me. Oh, that's my tree done. There we go. And so, oh, what's happened there? Oh, I've got a little bit of a gap there. That's fine. So there's my tree. Stands up nicely. And then it's just a case of adding your um, greeting. Now, I have thought of a variation of this, surprise, surprise, which I hopefully will be doing at some point. Um, whether it will work or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. I've got a Merry Christmas, and I'm wondering if I might just put that in the middle and stick it on one side. I think I might do that because I quite like that there. And I think I prefer it than up here. I prefer it in the middle. Yeah, about there. So I am going to, it does make it look Art Deco. Now these come with a, um, a thing on the back of them, a sponge, a sponge, a foam pad. But um, the only thing is it's in the wrong place for what I want to do. So I'm just going to peel my sponge pad off. Sponge pad, foam pad, what's wrong with me? Oh my goodness, my brain. And then I'm going to get my own foam pad. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, the middle, isn't it? I think it looks better in the middle. Right, so then, and then I wouldn't have to add so much, you know, embellishments. My English is not good today, I'm afraid. Just apologise for my English. Right, so let's stick this over here like that. And then how much more space have I got? I think probably about there. So, oh, I've got space for one more. That's good. Let's start, stick another one in. Okay, so let's just take the backing off these two. There we go. And then, and these were from Hobbycraft last year. They did these. Um, have I not taken the backing off there? Oh dear. So this one here, I haven't actually taken the backing off. I wonder why it gets standing up. Oh my goodness. I am not awake today. There we go. There we go. That's better. Now we're stuck down. Right. Get my Merry Christmas. Lay it down. And then put that in the middle. Like that. Yep, that's good. For some reason this keeps sticking to the back. Oh, I've got a nice bit of glue stuck on the back of it. A bit of tape. Just what you need. Come on, off you come. There we go. Right. So there we go. Happy days. Um, yes, all the papers are from the Winter Rose. Um, so this was on the back of one of the papers. That was one of the front ones that are, um, got, you know, they got glitter on them and stuff like that. And then these and these were all in from in the actual pad. 
so yeah do we think it needs a few little gold gems or do we think we're okay i personally think i might do some gold gems i have some of these from lucy's shop i think it does just a few just a few i don't want to overdo it but i feel like it might possibly need a little bit of gems i think we need to give it a whirl just a few though let me just uh let me just take a few out some little ones as well as some big ones this is one of those little tins that i bought at the um at the craft show as you can see i haven't done it's not full with gems but it means that it does doesn't it a few gems normally go well um it does mean that i can happily pick them out without too much trouble apart from my sticky picker up a gem thing is kind of running out of stick and I haven't managed to get any Tombow to re-stick it, so come on, pick them out. I'm just going to pick a few out, and then we're going to whack these on. Come on, out you come, please. That's it. There we go. Oh my goodness! There we go. Don't know how many I need. Oh, oh, oh! How you see what happens? Not pinging. Last night I pinged so many on the floor. You need one of these picky tools. I'll try and link them below um, when I do my description. Um, they are good. I say mine's sort of lost its stick a little bit, which is a bit frustrating. But apparently, if you kind of cover it with Tombow glue and kind of leave it to dry, it then is sticky again. I have tried washing it for those, like you know, just kind of not washing it washing it but do you know what i mean like people say about just sort of washing it a little bit with water just to kind of get the thing off it the um fluff but i've ended up with one that's not that sticky right so let's stick a few little gems on and again my little precision bottles that i bought at the craft show see i'm using all my makes or my not makes my purchases oh and this has been really useful. This um, little precision bottle thing has been so useful. Let's just put a few in. Let's do one side, then I'll do the other side. The main problem is trying to get the pin back in the hole again afterwards because it's such a <laughs> it's such a tiny bin. There we go, one. We're going to need a couple there. I've got another glue dot there, but I'm going to let it gonna leave that one empty. Uh, mm -mm -mm. We went a bit too mad with gems, but anyway, whatever. Never mind. Oh, that shouldn't be there. Might miss that glue dot. I'll just wipe that glue dot off and that one because it's the neatest tacky. Should be able to wipe it off okay. So I'm not using use white tack on a barbecue stick. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, Jackie, it was a craft fair. I've done a video for it. It was at the NEC in Birmingham. It was the creative craft show that I went to at the NEC um, and it was very good I mean it wasn't there wasn't loads there wasn't loads not like back in the day when we used to have like everybody was there he used to have all the t you know the craft tv places and whatever um, it wasn't like that but it, it was good it was still good I still enjoyed it so um charms hanging off her glue pin oh okay uh just reading all your messages Right, let me just do some more on the other side. Oh, you know what, let me just pick a few, pick a few out. <laughs> uh, just tip a few out. Whatever I get, I get. There we go, that'll do. Right, so let's do a few blobs. And then stick down. One there, one there, one there, one there. And then this is going to have... Oh, let me just close this. I'll leave that one free. Oh, 
Oh, oh, sorry, we'll just silence while I'm just concentrating on my gems. I think we'll go, we'll leave it with that. I might have to add in one more, two more on that side. Oh, I can't stick the blooming pin back in. There we go. Um, I've put my charms on my glue pin too. Yeah, that's good pin. No, ordinary pins. Yeah, these are these are the special pins that come with it. I got told not to um, use a normal pin. Use the one that comes with the bottle. So that's what I've done. So I have left that one in. So it's gone very dark here now. So it's going to rain. It's not supposed to rain today. It's not forecast to rain. But that doesn't stop the weather in the UK, does it? doesn't care what's been forecast and what hasn't. It does what it wants to do. It's very much feeling like it's about to throw it down. But I don't have any washing out, so it can go ahead. My strawberry plants will be glad of it. Oops. Right, let's turn this round. One there. And one there. And last but not least... One there, yay! There we go. Um, I must go to one. Yeah, they are getting back into the swing of things, Jackie. And there are more creative craft shows around the UK. So have a look and see if there's one. If you're in the UK, have a look and see what's near you, um, because there are quite a few coming up around and about. Um, yes. Yeah, I got the pack of three. Um, these were these were woodware ones, but I know they do the different brands out there. Um, oh, okay. Sam's bit. Sam's friend makes them. Is that the the little glue pen thing? Glue thingy bobs here. Yeah, Louise, it's probably dark with you, isn't it? You're only around the corner from me. It's looking very dark. Um, I use the gems from the Dollar Tree. They already have adhesive on them. Yeah, well, I've got some like that, but I've just started using. I, I tend to be using. Lucy Abrams um, gems a lot. I just because I didn't order these were all from her, um, but and I think what sold me were these ones. Sorry, but can we just appreciate how gorgeous they are? I don't know if you can see those. I'm waiting for my camera to catch up. There's a few of them, but these are like rainbow ones. Let me move it across a bit more. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? No, I don't know if you can see it if it's not zoomed in enough or not. I'm not sure, but they're all like rainbowy. They're beautiful. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. So those really attract me to hers. And also these, which are, again, like a clear version. And they're so nice. They're like little iridescent bubbles, basically. They're so nice. Uh, so that's what attracted me to her site. Um, and then and these ones as well. Uh, but also because she's independent. So, yeah. And she does like different mixes and stuff. Okay, don't zoom yet. Have a good day the rest of the day. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, they're really nice. She's got some really nice like things like let me switch across and get my other one. So like here's another one of hers. This was a sweet pea collection, but I love the way she puts all the colours together. She's got some really beautiful and she does like shaker mixes and stuff as well. Um so yes. Right, so there you go, people. That is today's card. So I hope you liked it. And obviously, if you wanted to, you could put um some kind of topper in the middle. I might do something in the middle. I like the Christmas trees, but I feel like it needs like something else. Just because so, obviously when it sits on your desk like that, you will see, turn it around, you sort of see it like that. So you will sort of see the inside as well. And then all you need to do is put um, uh, something on the back. Like I need to put a plain piece on the back to write on, uh, or you can write in the middle. And that's basically job done. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today. That is, yes, yeah, she will, Patricia. You have to watch the replay <laughs> and all the, the waffling on that we do. Don't forget, if you do make anything, please share it on the Google um, Photos shared folder that we have. I will put a link in the description for it. Um, so if you, you know, make anything, so don't, I'm not on Facebook, I don't really do Facebook. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, so I'm trying to read comments and talk at the same time and my brain can't do it. It just can't do it. Um, yeah, so if you make a card, please leave it onto the, upload it onto the Google Photos shared folder. I don't do Facebook, so this was the best 
next solution you can comment on there you can like so that's good uh, and it's just nice to see what people have made so um let's do that uh yeah that's what i was thinking sparky lady put in a, a greeting in the middle absolutely um yeah jackie have a look um on the creative craft if you do like a, um, a google search for creative craft show there's a few and i'm sure they've got one near you in hampshire I can't remember off the top of my head where it is, but they definitely have somewhere. So have a look and see. Um, I know there's one coming up for Christmas in probably November, I think it is. It's either November or early December at the NEC. And that's usually a, a better one. The Christmas one's usually the better one. But um, but yeah. Yeah, Friday's video is coming. Uh, I can't remember what I've scheduled. I know Sunday's video is is like, yeah. It's a version of the box front gatefold card. So thank you, Lisa. Farnborough on the 2nd of September. There you go, Jackie. That's the next creative craft show that's near you, near Hampshire. So thank you for that. Wonderful. Um, thank you, Shannon. <laughs> right, I'm going to poodle off. My brain is starting to melt. I'm now going to go ahead because I've got to try and get ahead for summer holidays coming. So I am trying to sort myself out and get ahead with scheduling, videoing and scheduling stuff. So that then when the summer holiday comes, um, I haven't really got to worry about videos so much. Um, but I will try. I'm going to maybe do lives, but I don't know. So we'll have to see how we go with school holidays. It might be that lives are an impossible thing or it might be that I can do them. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah. Hi, Ria. Um, nice to see you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've only just joined us, then um, yeah, you'd have to watch the replay. But we made this this card. I'm trying to think of something else I need to mention before I go. I know, I know, Rita. I'm just, I'm just so tired. I just need to get to bed a bit earlier. That's the problem. But I end up staying up doing work because I want to get it, you know, get stuff done. Um, and there's only so many hours in the day. So yeah, there we go. Right. I'm going to disappear, everybody. Have a good day, the rest of the day. Have a good rest of the week. Um, check out the video on Friday. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I want to try and get to 15K by the end of the year. And I know with you guys' support, it's completely doable. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. It's completely free to you, but it really helps me out. Um, Sparky Lady, you're going back to gardening. Yeah, I don't think I can do that to be honest with you. If I, if I go and garden now, I think it's going to start raining. I do need to do some gardening, but I haven't really got time, so I would like to, but not. Um, Patricia, I'm glad you've caught me live. Well done, nice, excellent. Next Tuesday, I will be doing another one. I think next Tuesday, yeah, I think next Tuesday I'm doing one. I will definitely confirm, but Tuesday seemed to be what's happening, so yeah, right. I shall say goodbye to you all. I shall stop waffling on. And I will see you all next time. And now I've got to try and work out how to do live. I have to switch it off again. Oh, yes, yeah, in the corner. Right. Okay, then. I'll see you all. You're going to carry on with your card. Go for it, Sally. I shall see you all next time. Bye. Oh, I've got to take you off the thing before I take switch it off. Oh, let's try again. There we go.